Yes, master. Right. Coming at you live from Deep Ellum, Texas, it's Dark Side Sports Radio with J.D. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, J.D. Yo, I'm with me, J.D. No, yeah. No, I still don't hear him, man. We're in the house with J.D. with your boy Marvino, your boy Sleeping Bag Sid. You know what I'm saying? We got J- Jedi subbing in for uh, Pew. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to check it out here. It's been about two weeks since we've been seen, y'all. So we're going to try to give you a good show. Keep the wheels still rolling. You know what I'm saying? We got that. We got some news you can use. We got the second sports segment. Might have a little uh, dark side time machine. You on yet, J.D.? No, I'm still not on. I don't think so. Oh, man. Hey, you okay, J.D.? Hey, hey, hey. There you, there you go. go. There, there you go. go. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. I had to kick the mic in the back of the, the <laughs> head, <laughs> in the back of the neck. Uh, that's all right. It's time hey. to go, baby. Yeah, Marvino, yeah. nice intro, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We've been yeah. doing it long enough. Already appreciate you for filling in yeah, right there, yeah. Marvino. <laughs> Y'all call us up two one four seven four one nine one 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 for any questions you have. We got a big show today, man. We got a lot of Cowboys talk. We got. Some Redskins talk. They jumped up to number two. We got to talk about that. The Redskins ain't playing, boy. They ain't playing with us no more, man. So we got a whole lot of trade talk to talk about, man. Got some Eli Manning talk, of course. Got NBA trade talk for you. Uh, we got the usual uh, uh, news you can use. Yeah, news you can use. Dark Side Time Machine and Come On Players. So come on, players. Y'all stick with us. Dark Side Elite. We want to thank y'all for listening, babies. Keep telling folks about us. 214-741-9111. Let's get into it, man, because it's serious about America's team. We're going to start out with them Cowboys, huh? We're going to talk about America's team. We How must, you like we, it? We must going to get uh, on to the Mavericks in the second sports segment then. Yeah, we're going to talk a little Mavericks. They didn't do anything in the trade talk, so we might uh, <laughs> we might not get to those boys. But, hey, yeah, you know, we always checking the, <laughs> checking the post of the Mavericks. And, hey, are you Darvish fans? Don't worry about that. We just got a big show tonight. Might not be able to get to our boy U Darvis, but next weekend we're gonna have some U Darvis talk to talk about all of those. By the time next weekend hits, he should he should have three outings in the spring training. So we're gonna most definitely talk about U Darvis. Man, next have you weekend. noticed they ain't been showing no Rangers games on TV? They just showed the one the other day, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you gotta have. Nah, cable, I don't, man. I don't know what it is. No, even with cable, they still ain't showing MLB. Well, show- MLB, but well, uh-huh. you gotta go. On I was gonna say, yeah, man, they be showing on MLB on the MLB network. Yeah. Yeah, man, I've been watching them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And online, yeah. too. Wait, so you can only watch the Rangers game on MLB? Uh, all the preseasons. The finals? Well, yeah, uh, the spring you, training. You had to go online. Oh, it's only spring training? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah the season ain't really kicked oh. underway. Yeah, I think okay. the first outing he had was only on ESPN Dallas, man. Man, they oh, was happy. Had... They was happy with that first outing. Or at least Ron was. The first outing was, was good, man. Mm-hmm. It was good. But, yo, what about these crazy Cowboys, man? We're going to talk about the acquisitions. Let's start with the ones that... Most people don't like. Let's start with those, man. Talking about the off- the offensive line with McKenzie Bernardo, hmm? who's a guard. And we also got Nate Livings. Is it Bernardo or Babino? Bernardo. 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 They say that these guys, uh, 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 Rob Ryan, I guess, is kind of familiar with these guys. But they're not. We spent $30 million on them. Like eleven million for for one guy, like nineteen million for the other, and a lot of people kind of say these are they don't even know if they're gonna be starting. <laughs> That's cold blooded, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, but we we just got to see how it's gonna pan out because wait a second. So they paid nineteen million for someone that's not even gonna start. Well, they don't know if they're gonna start. Uh, Nate Living that, should most definitely be after starting. paying nineteen million for somebody. You should know if they're gonna start or not. Nate mm-hmm. Living, Nate Living, he's gonna start. But Mackenzie Bernardo, 
Uh, we should have put all the people that's out of here on the TYA. Oh, oh, we got that coming. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for saying that, Marvin. You know, we, <laughs> we got a lot of people out of here, man, that, yeah, that's the, not on the Cowboys no more. The famous little uh, uh, splint segment we have, which is TYA, that stands for Tear Your Ass. Tear Your Ass. Tear Your Ass. <laughs> some people had to, the Cowboys, that is, had to tell some people to tear their asses <laughs> because we had other acquisitions. Yeah. I'm going to start small with the offensive line. Those were the guards. McKenzie and Bernardo. A lot of people are not uh, too excited about those guys, but you never know. They might turn out to be pro bowlers. Who, who knows? You know but what they I'm might not. Or they might continue to go on the same road they've been going on, which was, <laughs> w- which was average. Right, we're going to see. Okay, what about uh, got this linebacker, Dan Connor? No, he's John Connor's brother from uh, the Terminator. And uh, yeah. no, I'm, just, <laughs> no, I'm just joking right there. I'm just that's just a little Terminator, you know. I'm a, I'm a Terminator fan. You know, know who John Connor is right there. But no, Dan Connor, the inside linebacker for the um, Carolina Panthers. Hey, get, get, which John Connor was best, the one and two or three? Part two. Yeah, I agree. He was like all hacking computers yeah. and shit. Yeah. You mean, ATM oh, yeah. machines. Yeah. You mean awesome. Eddie Furlong? Hell yeah, man. He was better than what's his face. Yeah. When he was on the little scooter and shit. The dirt mm. bike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the dirt the, bike. Yeah, 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 the moped. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the dirt, dirt bike. bike. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, dirt yeah bike. my bad. That was a, a dirt bike. Yeah. That John Connor was a bad boy right yeah, there, man. He saved the world. Um, But yo, we got Dan Connor. He's going to complete compete with our boy Butler. Butler was a rookie last year. He was injured a lot. And he only came in, I think he came in around the eighth game of the season last year. Only had one tackle in a in an actual game, but he had eight tackles on uh, special teams. And so he's going to compete with uh, Dan Connor. You know, that, for, that's going to... what position? Inside linebacker. So, you know, in competition in training camp is always good. You know, you usually come out with a with a pretty good player that's ready to play when he has competition. So he going to be the guy helping our boy Sean Lee out, huh? They said him and Sean Lee actually played together in college. Oh, okay. That's good. So they're familiar. They got with, a little chemistry. Yeah, they're familiar with one another. Hey, let me ask you a question. What is the uh, the worst, like, um, prospect that they've paid for, like, all this money, and then they got, like, damaged during spring uh, training? When, what, Cowboys you mean history training camp? or I mean, the last Cowboys past history? 10 years? Yeah, because I think what? I remember hearing something about that. Like, they spent all this money on somebody, and then they got injured during, uh, you know, spring training, and then they were just basically useless afterwards. Oh, man, you – I mean, that, that that's a lot of people that's been useless. <laughs> yeah. That, that Jerry Jones has, you know, been drafting and, and also – acquiring in in the offseason the last 16 years jerry has been in control of acquiring talent it's been many 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 players man um unfortunately uh jerry jones has no idea of of what in the hell he's doing around here so yeah I'm, i'm gonna have to uh to try to go down and do my homework right there. The Jet Jedi has uh, presented me with a challenge right there because I'm going to probably have to sift through about 20 players. Been a lot of players that uh, have actually ended up being no good for us, man. Besides Dan Connor, though, we got um, we got this safety called Brodney Poole. Brodney Poole is also familiar with Rob Ryan. I think he played. Did he play up in Cleveland? Did we end up getting that boy Carr? Hold on, man. we gonna, oh, get, oh, the, okay. we gonna get the cause we working our way from the bottom up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we going from the bottom up. Rodney Poole, I actually Rodney Poole been in the league a while, hadn't he? Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. I remember him from OU and when he played for OU. You know what I'm saying? Got into the league. I guess he was with um, with Cleveland. I gotta figure out what team this guy was actually with. But uh. Is anybody here familiar with Rodney Poole's work? A lot of people seem to think he's a lateral move from Elam. A lot I, of people say him and Elam are like the same player. I actually can't think of one game where I was like, ooh, Poole going hard, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of one game, though. Nobody can. That's, <laughs> that's probably why they say he's on equal footing with uh with the safety we already had in, in Elam. 
maybe he, he can give us some depth right there and also com, uh, uh, conjure up a little more competition in training camp. Let's get to the big fish in the pond, man. We got we got Lawrence Vickers. We ended up getting rid of Tony Fiametta, who was our fullback. Went to go get another fullback called Lawrence Vickers. Man, Lawrence, I'm hearing good thing about Vickers, uh, although even though I, I don't know who in the hell he is, Lawrence Vickers. He remember he was the fullback for Houston. Yeah, but he ain't do enough to. But they you know. they said he was a he was one of the prime reasons why Houston's running back was able to be one of the best running backs in the league. As a matter of fact, they say Lawrence Vickers is the best fullback in the in the game. You remember seeing any Lawrence Vickers uh, plays that you can recall that no. you know? Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but then again. But then again, you remember seeing a, a lot of big runs by Arian Foster, right? Arian. But yeah. Arian Foster exactly. is cold as hell, though. So Damn, you know, man. but Damn. when the moose, <laughs> when the moose was here, everybody knew it because yep. we heard moose. Yeah, but <laughs> at the end of the day, Emmett was the one getting through the holes, getting you fit 20, 40 yards. That's true. That's yeah. true. Hey, they that's say, true. But moose got his love too, though. You know, yeah, we knew but, who he was. You know, but what I'm again, saying? though, uh, but. A lot of that was because... And the game was different then, man. It was number, so different. number one is because Moose was just damn good. No yeah, doubt, no yeah, doubt about that. No he doubt was a about bulldozer. that. He was a bulldozer, no doubt. But another reason is because he was a Dallas Cowboy. Yeah. Dallas Cowboys, we you know, we the most known. We America's team. Everybody knows who who even our fullback is. So yep. that's how popular we are. Nobody's going to know who the damn fullback is on Houston. Except for coaches and players that have to go against this guy. And they say he's the best, man. So, we're going to see what he does for DeMarco Murray. And, uh, and, uh, and, well, uh, hopefully Lawrence. Uh, Vickers. Vickers. We don't see you on the TYA uh, <laughs> no time soon because we will put your ass on the TYA here in, in the D-Town. No, I don't think. I think Lawrence Vickers is going to be here. That was a hell of a pickup by the Dallas Cowboys. So our best pickup so far, you think, has been our fullback, Vickers? No, because we got another pickup right here. Uh, let me go ahead and go on. And, and, hey, furthermore, Vickers, hopefully he would prompt Garrett to run the, ball. the damn yeah. Ball. Football, man. So what they gonna do with Bennett? Bennett out of here, player. Oh, yeah. oh we gonna get to yeah. Bennett. Well, that's oh, why I'm man. telling you, we oh, got a oh. <laughs> we got a lot of T.Y. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. We gonna get to we gonna get to Martellus Bennett, Captain oh, Crunch Bennett, yeah. without a yeah. Captain Crunch, <laughs> without a shadow of a doubt. What about Kyle Orton? Man, I think I actually think that at first I gotta admit I was like Kyle Orton. Oh no, hell no. But, man, he a good backup for Romo. Kyle Orton is a good quarterback, especially a good backup quarterback for Romo. Uh, it's better than Kitna, you know. So, you know, I think the Cowboys did a good move I, by picking uh, up uh, Kyle Orton. I never wish injury on anybody. <laughs> oh, man, you better not be talking about my boy. Don't be talking about that boy Romo. And uh, I still will not wish injury on anybody because <laughs> – I'm not that type of broadcaster, but <laughs> if he so happens, Tony Romo better watch out. Uh. Mm-hmm. Better make sure he's taking his Flintstone vitamins because Kyle Orton is is a scoring quarterback. Do he, not get hurt, Tony Romo. Kyle Orton want to prove to somebody yep. that he co- go hard. He wants to know? be he wants to be where Tony Romo was about what four or five years ago. He actually oh, yeah. wanted to play. How old is uh Kyle Orton? Is what, he that thirty something? Is he's he in his actually 30s? thirty. I think he was just he just turned thirty. Right. Okay. He just turned thirty. And hey, this guy has that hunger like Romo used to have. Damn straight. Romo, my biggest knock on Romo is he's not the same Romo he was that was trying to get to it, the position when right. When Romo it seemed like finally, it instantly changed when he got that money. When he got that contract. Yo, yeah, oh, it was Jessica yeah. Simpson. Yeah. It was lattes and Cabo <laughs> and playing golf. <laughs> yeah, playing golf before the biggest game of your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's you know, this past season you're playing golf with Tiger Woods. It's dude, you're not so serious. Do you, do you honestly think that Cal Orton got more skilled than Romo? No, you don't think he got more mm-hmm. skill. Romo's talented as hell. 
it's just a damn shame that i've said this before on the show he's the classic tortoise and the hair quarterback he is the tortoise and the hair quarterback when he when he finally gets it it's over it's like when he gets the contract he's lackadaisical even in the games if he has a 20 point 24 point lead oh well hell it's time to just fling the ball around the field and you know let's see if i can get 600 yards in this game next thing you know we lose mm-hmm. <laughs> a 24 point lead against the detroit Lions. i believe the word is choke he's, he's a choke. choke well so far you know what man I can't even dispute that, man. I mean, as much as I've been for Romo, when you think about all the things he's done, all the way from the first thing he did with right. the damn miss up, miss snap in in Seattle. Yep. You know, he I, choked that away. Yeah, he's 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 choked consistently, man. He's like um, all last season. It's like they were. Well, nobody can see me on camera, but I'd say you know that close. Yeah. To win the game. Right. Third quarter. They get tied up, game over. Mm-hmm. He screws it up. Right. And man, I just tell you, you know, we we gotta. I mean, the man's got talent. He's right. either gotta get his head in the game, or we gotta bench him. I mean, that's that's the only two options. I don't think he'll be getting benched. I think I the, only, know. the only way that he's going to uh, lose his position is if he gets hurt. But saying all of this that I've said about Romo, I still believe the biggest thing that's hurt Romo is coaching. This is a coach's league. And unfortunately, Jason Garrett has treated Romo like that's why that's one of the reasons Romo has the attitude that I've always I've already made it because of Jason Garrett. Yep. You know what? This is the greatest quarterback in the league. He he can do it all. And that's why we neglected the running game. Yep. You know what I mean? And everybody for the past couple of years, a lot of people have said Romo's better than Eli. If not better than Eli, he's just as good as Eli, right? right. Yeah. But what is, what is the main constant that Eli has had over the Dallas Cowboys? He actually can play. Better coaching. <laughs> damn straight. Period. Yeah, but his coach has been in the league 30 damn years. You know, we can't compare his coach to our coach right now. Yeah. Not, and, not right and, now. And, 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 I'm, and I'm hard on Garrett. Hopefully, Garrett can. Last year, he was a rookie coach. This year, Garrett. We're going to need you to be better because it was a rookie coach in San Francisco that made your ass look very bad. I mean, Coughlin, how many times have people wanted him out of there? It's, it, it's no doubt about it. But like how many, year, how many Super Bowls he got? He got two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He got two. Yeah. So everybody you know else don't know what the hell they talking about. Yeah, he got Damn two. straight. Cal Orton has just sent us off onto all types of other talk. Let's go ahead and get to the biggest signing, Brandon Carr. Oh. Now, I remember... Okay, when we were courting cornerbacks, a lot of people said either Cortland Finnegan, who was the rowdy guy from the Titans. And I'm so glad we didn't get him. I, hey, I'm, hey, I'm right there <laughs> with you on that. A lot of people wanted Finnegan because he was rowdy. Rowdy. And, yeah, he, and put he put that fire yeah, into your team. He, he put fire in the belly, and he talked a lot on the field. My whole thing is, you know what? Get the better cornerback. It doesn't matter who in the hell is, is more vocal. Who's the better cornerback? You seen how Andre Johnson whooped his ass the other day. Exactly. Other this is That's the, because people get tired of all that talk talking. Talking. Got your ass whooped on national TV <laughs> in front of 10 million people. Almost got his head ripped off with his helmet. Yeah. <laughs> so Cortland Finnegan, I think he got picked up by the Rams. Yeah, St. Louis. He in St. Louis. Cortland Finnegan, you can take your ass back to Bennigan's. Yeah. Why? Hey. Yeah, Finnegan. <laughs> Tell your ass. And you yeah. wasn't even with them. Yeah, you <laughs> wasn't even with us, but tell your ass. <laughs> we'll take the younger, bigger, more physical cornerback from the Chiefs and Brandon Carr. Woo, that's going to help us out a lot right there. And Who spot go- did he take? Oh, here you go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He likes to jab me in yeah, the side. Yeah, yeah. Right JD boy. Ta- I say he take takes Newman's spot. He already took Newman. Yeah. Newman go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Newman is out of here. I would actually take Newman back as a fourth corner. You know, I would take Newman back and then throw his ass off the team again. <laughs> 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 and be like, you thought you was going to play, dude. <laughs> Go do my boy like that, man. I'd be like, you JD boy. You ain't my boy. You know what I'm saying? If, if he would come back for considerably less money, of course, and um and and be the fourth cornerback i would take him man so those were the acquisitions by the cowboys we got mixed 
Uh, mixed reactions from that. Most people think that the Cowboys did damn good in the offseason. Some people think it was just okay. Uh, and, just, and to answer your question, uh, Stephen Bag, yeah, Marty B's gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we about to get to Marty B oh, okay, in, okay. in uh, 20 seconds. All right. Let me just say this right here. The reason we did have to go and get all of these acquisitions is because the Cowboys do not know how to draft, period. We get one player out of every damn draft. We get one and a half starter. We got to do better than that, man. We got to get more than one and a half starters out of. You pick seven players every year in the draft. The Cowboys only end up with like one starter every year because Jerry Jones is the GM. So we got to get better. And this year has to be a, a hell of a draft for the Cowboys in order for us to stay competitive. Now let's get to the guys that have get, gotten off the team. We've already talked about Terrence Newman. Um, we talked about Tony Fiametta. So your boy Mark Taylor's been it. The Giants picked him up. Yeah, they picked him mm. up on a one-year contract. Now that was interesting. That was very interesting to me because me personally, I don't believe that Martellus Bennett is going to end up being uh, great for the for the New York Giants. As a matter of fact, we as Cowboy fans, we all expect Martellus Bennett to go up there to New York and be absolutely nothing, kind of like he was here, kind of like he was down here. Now, he was a good blocking tight end, but we wanted him to catch the football. Let me tell you something. If Bennett goes up there and turns out to be a hell of a football player, I'm going to be all over the Dallas Cowboy coaches, especially Jason Garrett. I'm going to be on their asses, man. If, now I don't think he's going to turn out to be a, a great player for them, but, was, it, but if he does, that's on the coaching staff for Dallas. For not noticing that. I was going to ask you, uh, you think Tom Coughlin going to play, uh, play that Captain Crunch shit? Do you know it's interesting you said that because they the the contract they got for Bennett, they actually got uh they got Bennett for a lifetime supply of Captain Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it too, you know. You know I it believe was, it, you know. What I'm saying like, I would put it past Bennett, you know. Yeah, what I'm it was it like forty seven thousand yeah. dollars, <laughs> right? With the Captain Crunch, yeah. <laughs> Milk wasn't included. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's what they got for Bennett, man. Uh, enough of the crazy ass Bennett talk. What about Laurent Robinson? Oh, damn, damn, damn. Trey Zone. Yeah, they got rid of Robinson. He went to Jacksonville, man. Now uh, he got a he got a pretty good contract though, so I can't be mm, mad at the boy. Jacksonville man. know his name now. Huh? Yeah, they know his name. <laughs> damn. Thirty-two million dollar contract. Wow! Congratulations, Rob Robinson. Fourteen million. Damn. That's off of one year. <sighs> one year. I'm gonna say he's worth it because all those other years, you know, he was hurt and he really didn't get a chance. The Chargers let him go. Really due to injuries, the Cowboys gave him a chance. Romo gave him a lot of passes. He ended up with ten or eleven touchdowns. The fourth. Um, I think he ended up fourth in the league with as, as far as touchdowns go for wide receivers. So, unfortunately, we couldn't keep Robinson. It's probably because the Cowboys got docked for that $10 million. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Robinson, uh, I know you got a good deal and everything, but since you ain't with the Cowboys no more, tear, tear your, your ass. ass. That's an affectionate tear your ass. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we, we wish we had you back right there. Right. <laughs> So look like Miles Austin, man. Man, I hope Miles don't be hurt this year. Yeah, man. Ever since Woo! ever since Miles got the contract, he's regressed the last two years. I still believe, and that's in why we got docked that money because of we signed Miles or tried to pay him under the table. Uh, we uh, they said they said we something dirty, we, man. We front loaded too much money to yeah. Miles yeah. Austin, and that's why the league penalized the Cowboys for ten million dollars. But the Cowboys are going to appeal this in court because the league actually signed off on it. Yeah. So the league knew exactly what it, what everything was going on. So hopefully Jerry damn Jones, uh, hopefully Jerry Al Davis Jones, <laughs> you know, can uh, 
can recoup this $10 million from the league. It does kind of sound kind of fishy. It sounds yeah. like Roger Goodell kind of kind of effed us in this one, man. Yeah, yeah, it does. You know, so Keith Brooking. Oh, Keith Brooking gone. Keith Brooking, who, by the way, is being sued by Wells Fargo for $10 million. <laughs> The bank Wells Fargo said yep. that he was trying to hide some assets. Mm-hmm. Still, he's tried to steal two million dollars or something. Oh, man. Wells Fargo is suing uh, Keith Brooking for two million dollars. I guess they don't know Keith Brooking, huh? They don't know right. that he, he gonna bloody they nose, bloody they nose, <laughs> kick him in the stomach. <laughs> we gonna shave their heads. <laughs> Keith Brooking don't play that Wells Fargo. <laughs> Keith Brooking will bloody your nose, man. <laughs> you don't sue this guy. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, so uh, Keith Brooking with an infection at TYA. They T- tear your ass. Yo, Keith Brooking. Yo, we man, we turned. We done already told his ass before. That's that's a trip. Yeah, oh, yeah this guy's on a on a second TYA. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Another guy that's on the second TYA. Brady James. Brady James. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Brady James and the James game. <laughs> right. Tear your ass. Tear your ass, Brady. That's Brady. what you get for not thinking we was America's team no more. For real. Now you ain't on America's team. Right. <laughs> we really ain't America's team to your ass now. Tear your ass. <laughs> David Beeler, the kicker. David Beeler makes me want to go and, uh, and ask uh, uh, Jerry Jones for a million dollars. Because Cause he's giving it to everybody. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving it to David. You're giving it to Goliath. You're giving it to goddamn Paul. If, if you just going to sit up here and give away money, let me have. Let me go down to Valley Ranch and ask for a million dollars. Jerry, please give it to me. Man, he because you basically ass. gave David Beeler money for absolutely nothing. So give me money just for being a Cowboy fan around this month. Man, David. Let me Miller. know how that turns out for you, JD. Before we go into the break, man, and get to the great news you can use. And second sports segment, we're gonna talk about Eli Manning, so y'all get ready for that and the NBA news. But let me just stay on David Biller for one second because David Biller, man, this guy is the main reason that me, JD, okay, greatest cowboy fan in the world, one of the greatest cowboy fans actually jumped off of the uh jerry jones bandwagon i was the lone soldier defending jerry jones for 20 for 20 years from 1989 all the way up to 2009 okay when the 2009 season came i felt like we had a team that was good enough to win the super bowl but we had david beeler as the kicker and i'm thinking to myself as a fan okay how on God's green earth are you going to win a championship without a kicker? Because in this salary cap era, it doesn't matter how good your team is. If you don't have a kicker, you're going to lose, man. We've seen it time and time and time again. Great teams in the end that go to the playoffs just because they don't have a kicker. And this guy goes in the game, misses a kick. They lose the damn playoff game. We've seen that for 10 years now. And when Jerry kept David Biller on the team, I said, you know what? We got to get Jerry Jones' ass out of here, man. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to get Jerry up out of there, dog. <laughs> because our whole team was ready. They had enough talent to go to the Super Bowl, but David damn Beeler was the kick. We had bigger problems, by the way, because the coaching was ended up being atrocious. Right, with the kicker that got iced. Who was that? By, by Garrett? Who was that? Oh, that, that was this past year. That right. was Dan Bailey. That was Dan Bailey. Okay, okay. Yep. That was Dan Bailey. Uh, David Bueller. Bueller was, he was also. Hurt, right? He was hurt. And oh, he was okay. also another factor this year because we kept his ass on the roster the whole year. Taking up all that money. And he wasn't even doing nothing. He was just a, like a kickoff specialist. And some of the games, like you said, he was hurt. So, David Bueller, most definitely. Tear your ass. Woo, thank God David Bill is out of here. Well, All right. That was the Cowboy News for you, man. We yeah, listeners, to... hit us up on 214-714-9111. Let us know what you think about the show. You know, chime in, you know, just whatever about what we weren't or whatever. We whatever. We to hear your input. Exactly. And we didn't get to the Redskins, but hey, yo, next segment, we're going to get to Eli Manning and the Redskins and the NBA. Y'all stick with us. We love you to death. 
Dark Side Sports Radio. This is not hip hop, this is street hop. Get up off your ass like your motherfucking seats hot. Haters can't touch me, I'm beyond beef. I won't succumb to the pressure on these cold streets. Black professors with prestigious degrees. Learn lessons from the flow, cause I'm a gifted MC. Visit no mercy, Texas, come witness where I was raised. No beautiful picket fences, we pitch and pattern, okay? I wish I was a doctor or a science receiver. Sarcastic cars or Asher Ross, fake rappers take your masses off. This ain't the Holocaust, but consider this a Molotov. I box well, cocktail. I say I am the boss. Y'all say a lot of things. I let my verses talk. I wrote this on a super full moon. I blaze the bloom, cause our lives in the days of doom. How we know it's getting paid, how we know it's getting late. Getting busy on these beats, after that, we get in place. We get it how we live, they trying to bring us down, but we continue to be it. How we know it's getting paid, how we know it's getting late. Getting busy on these beats, after that, we get in place. We get it how we live, they trying to bring us down, but we continue to be it. All I know is getting I was bread to consume Y'all thinking something different misled to assume I accumulate grinding, no batteries required Then something in me stronger, see my energy gets vibrant Like by that, you probably feel me from a mile away Twenty dollar blunts up in the spaceship A tidal wave, I was once a child in it Where did time go? Cryogenics Done live that life, I kept my salary Been broke with the wind cold, then rose up like a tempo Came back tenfold, what an info Like that, done seen her anatomy Tenfold in the winter with a freak It's the kinfolk with no smoke at the window Big mo, left me lot of boy with an etiquette Seems I'm a veteran, posted up and motionless But somehow get around, we move like a better wind Gypsy, sip a gin scene, but this chick with a lip ring Simply tip me, just me with a gin beam Every time, then I'm right back in team How we know it's getting paid, how we know it's getting late Getting busy on these beats after that, we get in place. We get it how we live. They trying to bring us down, but we continue to be it. How we know it's getting paid. How we know it's getting late. Getting busy on these beats. After that, we get in place. We get it how we live. They trying to bring us down, but we continue to be it. Babies, that was your boy Kobe Savage. Kobe Savage with All We Know featuring Craftmatic and Malcular? Molecular. Oh, excuse me. But <laughs> molecular. Molecular. <laughs> molecular. molecular. Boy, molecular. you country as hell, boy. Well, molecular, like, what the hell is that? <laughs> molecular. My bad, my bad, right there, molecular. Yo. <laughs> 
Yo, uh, uh, Kobe. Yeah, hit him with the Eddie Murphy laugh. Kobe Savage is going hard <laughs> yeah, over there. Yeah, you going hard, man. Kobe. Do your thing, baby. Damn, do your thing. Local? That sounds like that's worldwide right there, man. Yo, let's get back into it, man. Y'all check out the boy Kobe Savage. And you check out news you can use. Giving you the news you can use. Already. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to talk, start it out with this one, man. You know, it's St. Patty's Day. Y'all see you got your green your green bottle over there, J.D. So oh, yeah. St. Patty's Day. I always got the green bottle. Yeah, I'm always <laughs> saluting the, uh, the Irish right there. <laughs> yeah, you know, Lil Greenville, they got their uh, parade going on. That's been going on for about 33 years now. You know what I'm saying? Any of y'all check that out? Yeah, I started that. 33 years ago, you weren't even around, boy. <laughs> Yeah, I was zero. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to Mark Cuban, we get we get to keep the party going. You know what I'm saying? He, he dropped a few million. What? How many? How much? He made another. How much you say he dropped? A shit ton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, y'all, y'all at- don't know. Shit ton comes in briefcases. Hey, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, exactly. Do y'all look at Shark Tank? The uh, other show he got. Shark Tank. He done made another big deal with some dude. Uh, he gave the dude he got he gave him like eight percent of the stock in the company uh-huh. and get made some type of deal. So he done made another investment supposed to be coming to the city of Dallas too. Uh man, y'all don't sound like y'all very uh big St. Patty's Day uh party or party goers. Well, I'm ain't none like, of us got no green on except I sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I will try to do a little something. something yeah, we knew something. Sleeping Bass was going to have a green on because he is a modern day jig head. <laughs> <laughs> jig head means a drunk, y'all. I got the green mean. mouse. I got nah, the green that mouse. That don't count, player. <laughs> you got the green bottle. You're going to get pinched. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get pinched, player. He can't take a, uh, the mouse into the bars. So what do y'all think about Mark Cuban saving the party? Uh, really nothing i mean it's nothing that's a big deal. <laughs> that's a big damn deal it's something he should be doing i mean why should yeah, mark cuban be doing he it he like a hundred billion dollars so yeah. uh, you know that's what what is that by two cents out of his pocket right there how much know. was it was it millions because i heard it was forty thousand yeah it might have been forty thousand <laughs> <laughs> He paid some more that y'all don't know about this in the back, you know, the, <laughs> under the table. Under the thing. table, yeah. buddy, for the parade. Huh? <laughs> so did he have his own float? Or no, he, he ain't probably even going to be there, man. He just want to see us have fun. He just want to see people drinking out there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, he did not show up. They had a nice little, uh, you know, those little banners when they start out the parade, you know, when they had the firefighters and all that come out. Yeah. It says, thank you, Mark Cuban, Benny Keith, and somebody else. Dang. That's all it was, man. Yeah, that's the hey, cool. You tripping, man? Somebody else? That was me. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> JD, He's I'm trying drinking. to tell you, I, I, I sponsored this. Come on, man. Y'all give me no, credit too. No, no. It's ridiculous <laughs> around here, man. Have hey, like, you ever been to the St. Patty's Day parade on Lower Greenville? Huh? <laughs> See what I'm talking about? How you gonna sponsor a parade you ain't never been to? Of course, I've been there, man. I made all the floats. No, I ain't never been there, but. That's jacked up, man. We supposed to be supporting it. Sleeping bag said has been there. However, though. did y'all know that the uh, the guy, oh, man, who was the guy that uh, that started St. Patty's Day? That well, was, anyways, oh, he that was, he, he uh, wasn't even Irish. He was French. No, he well, his name was Saint Saint Patty. Saint <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patty. Yeah, was Patty made, his first name or last name? <laughs> he made like big hamburger. Patty. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> shit, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Man, JD. You gonna have to Google all that, man. That's what we got Google for, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who that. He was a good dude. Who I know, whoever it was, he was a drunk. He had to be a drunk. So he was a friend of sleeping bag said. <laughs> well, I guess the <laughs> look at bad <laughs> Hey, this next story I got. Uh, I guess it's medical city, yeah. uh, medical city hospital in Dallas started they uh, St. Patty's a little early. Cause did y'all hear about the uh, the green substance flowing in the in the water? Yeah. Uh, Where well, Dallas Fire Department had to yeah. come like see what was going on. It's like neon green, like yeah. Ninja Turtle kind of neon green, like, like in the water. In the water, man. So was it like in the water fountain? Around by a uh, white, white Rock Lake. Yeah. Creek. Yeah. White Rock Creek. In yeah. Dallas. 
So it was some green stuff flowing down. Shit white was rock. glowing, like glowing, man, like a neon sign, mm-hmm. man. No bullshit. Oh, that was just some food coloring, man. Somebody. Nah, they said it was a non toxic dye coming from the uh, from the medical center, but who knows what it is? You food know, we color. did find out about the pig blood. You know, we thought that was. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. That, that place is right there for uh, eighth and Corinth. Eighth and Corinth. Are you going to? I didn't. Ne- I didn't ever hear about this, man. Are you going? Yeah, to it's Dallas? happened this past week, man. So right before St. Patty's Day, right. a green substance shows up in the creek. Something that they went. I don't think they was trying to show. You know, it was nothing for St. Patty's or nothing. <laughs> they just got caught. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't even know what to say about that. Maybe some people just. I'm oh, throwing the boogers in it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you think it was coming from the medical center? Center, you know, hospital? Medical boogers? waste. Yeah, medical, medical waste. waste. <laughs> I think some. I, I think I'm gonna go with my original thought, man. It's somebody throwing food coloring in the thing. It's just green food coloring is all it is. <laughs> that's got to be. That's got to be what it's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some St. Patty's drunk dude is just, you know. Spreading all of his uh his green dye in the water, man. That's all it is, man. <laughs> well, uh, let me tell you about this one then, cause uh <clears throat> maybe this dude got uh some green drinks, green set St. Patty's Day drinks at his uh r- new restaurant that he opening up. Uh oh, y'all hear about uh Flavor Flav opening up a restaurant? Oh lord, Flavor oh, Flav. Flav. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all of that. <laughs> Go ahead. I said he's just not gonna give up, huh? Nah, hell no, nah, he ain't gonna give up. I'm sure all that food has a lot of flavor. The former rapper slash reality TV star slash <laughs> restaurant tour now. Damn. Yeah, he opened up a fried ch- a New York style fried chicken place in Iowa. He looked like he liked fried chicken. <laughs> but he, but he, already racist, tried the rest- he already tried the restaurant business before, didn't he? I don't know. Did he? I think he did. And that didn't it didn't go too well. Well, he said he gonna try if you first if at first you don't succeed, <laughs> try try again. So do you think um, what's your McCall is gonna be at the opening? Who was the first winner of the Flavor Flav contest? Was it Hoops? Was it Hoops? You think Hoops gonna be there? She might be, man. It's called Flavor Flav. Uh, it's called Flav's Fried Chicken. Ooh, I bet that chicken good as hell too. Probably flavorful, yeah. I know. <laughs> Tasty. Yeah, he got all the flavor. Well, what y'all think about him opening up in Iowa, though? Is it any huh? Yeah, that's what I said. In Iowa? <laughs> yeah. <a> damn fool. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. A New York style fried chicken place in Iowa. Come on. <laughs> and, unless you partnering up with Chick fil A. Because you know the white folks. I'm sorry. The white folks love Chick fil A. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like Chick Fil A uh, too, excuse man. Excuse me, I, I I am a white fellow, and <laughs> I, I do enjoy the uh, the uh, the Chick Fil A. They they have great sauces, including Polynesian and honey mustard and, and barbecue. It's awesome, Please. super awesome, guys. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's the only way I told you, hey, man. That is the only look. If it's just straight black folk in Iowa, is it any black people in Iowa? A couple. Damn, that's another good question. <laughs> he said a couple. I think there's like maybe like five total. Oh, yeah. Including man. Flavor. You got to go to the football team. Uh, <laughs> and Flavor counts for all five of them. Uh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to go to the football team in Iowa to get the get to the black folk right there, man. But So good luck on your restaurant, Flav, man. No, nah, hell no. Nah, oh, man. man. How you not going to support Flav, man? I would say good luck if it was in another state. In Iowa, come on, Flav. <laughs> Damn. I, I got a I got a question. What, what's New York style fried chicken? What, what's the difference? You know the, what? That's a good question. That's a good question. I ain't never they been don't know New York. how to fry know. no damn chicken up in New York <laughs> anyway. I just thought, damn it. You I got mean, something right there. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah. Little, little, no, like, they might not have to know how to uh cook like no barbecue, because you know that's some south shit, but chicken, they might know something about some chicken. You know, everybody cook chicken. I don't know. You know, down south, man, we mm-hmm. we got we, we got that chicken stuff down here, man. I think the uh, the New York style get you that New York accent. Yeah, 
They got that New York bird up there. <laughs> got that pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, Flavor uh, had a message for uh, Colonel Sanders. He said, Colonel Sanders, he better watch out. Oh, <laughs> man. You got a long way to get to the Colonel player. <laughs> Colonel got black folks sold up. Sold up. <laughs> I'm going to the Colonel after the show. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you got you got to come strong, though, Flavor Flav. He trying, yeah. though. In the wrong state, but he trying. Oh, man. Come on, come on player. For real. Before, come on, player. Come on, player. Man, I want to tell you about this one. I'm bringing it back home now. Uh, T.O. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah, he going through it, One man. of these episodes... We're gonna do T uh the top five of TO's greatest end zone dances. Yeah. Because that boy sure did make me laugh over the years. <laughs> but what but what 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 you got on TO, man? Well he ain't doing no laughing right now because Uh-oh. I don't know if you heard that uh a couple of his condominiums getting foreclosed on in Dallas. Oh uh, I heard I heard about that. I tried to get one up. You tried to get one? It was still too high for me. <laughs> but I I heard that he did uh <laughs> He had to get had to sell him, man. Yeah, that boy pay he pay a, They say he owed about seven hundred thousand dollars combined for the both of them. Damn. Yeah, man. He paying he paying all that child support, man. Not the child support. So that's on the five kids. Four of them he know. He got four kids, right? Four kids. Three of them he know. One of them he pay. One of them he don't quite know that much, but man, he, he know it's still his though. What he he one of them he paid forty five thousand dollars a month on. Woo! Jeebus. Damn. And, and, he's, and he's reportedly she tw- must she must have filed in california or something. i don't know Damn. where she filed at but uh i think it might have been atlanta but uh it's been reported that he like twenty thousand behind whoa yeah and so now you can see why the house was foreclosed on damn did y'all hear about your boy antoine walker hold on hold on before we get to antoine walker so can you imagine T.O. going to try to get into one of the condominiums? He didn't put the key in. <laughs> I know it. Nah, the, the key didn't work. The key didn't work. Nah, they changed the locks on him. <laughs> now hit him with the old school. And they changed the locks on you. Yeah. Garage door open, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Flow wow. mat, the welcome home flow mat was different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flow man said, "Tear your ass!" <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! The Flow man had a yo. If this is to, uh, tear your ass. <laughs> man, I can imagine him by the, a garage door with that garage door open, clicking the hell out there. <laughs> <laughs> click, 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 <laughs> what happened to Antoine Walker uh, bags? Nah, nah, I'm gonna say that for come on player. All okay, right, okay, all right. okay, okay. Damn, T.O. We was talking about I did, I was we was talking about T.O. being broke a couple of weeks ago. I, I even though I brought the story up, <laughs> I don't even think I really believed it though. But damn, with them kids. Yeah, them kids, them baby and mamas, then, are, boy, they'll get you. And besides that, just the way football players live their life, man, you know, they live real, real fast. Real like, fast, yeah. Like the money ain't going to never go go away. They live like they got $2 billion, but they really only got like $20 million, you know what I'm saying? Wow, man. Damn, that's messed so, I wish I could just go and kind of rig the garage door some kind of way and He'll let him get in his crib. Yeah, just get let him stuff get out. in. Yeah. <laughs> wish I could open it up for him some kind of way, you know. I wish I was on the inside and just pushed the button. Made him seem like it worked. <laughs> <laughs> let it up halfway and be like, man, you can't come in. <laughs> <laughs> they said you can't come in, man. They told me to make sure you don't come in. <laughs> That's fucked up. Damn this man. Damn, up. T.O. Ooh, I bet Hopefully your Allen team will work out. I know, man. Man, maybe he should have took advice from this next dude, man. Now, you might remember this next dude. I did a story on this guy like months ago. But remember the dude that uh, I said tattooed the murder scene all over his body? Oh, Mm -hmm. man. Remember that? I mean, you go look up dumbass in the dictionary. Yeah. 
Well, okay, speaking of dumbass, listen to this. I don't know how much of a dumbass he is. Because that same dude right. has just got caught. His name is Anthony Garcia, 26 years old. Uh-oh. From, from L.A. East L.A. Tell me why this dude was getting $30,000 in unemployment while he was in jail. Yeah, what? I heard about that. <laughs> you heard about that, <laughs> Sid? That boy cold, ain't he? <laughs> yeah. They were sending him checks. They were sending him. They were sending it to his relatives, and he had his relatives cashing, cashing the checks. Man, sixteen hundred dollars a month is what he was getting. So he just a straight boss man in jail. Yeah, cause he got all that money on his books. To ain't doing something right, because this <laughs> man can get thirty thousand in unemployment and he in jail. You know, he going hard. You know. <laughs> But then again, I heard they don't let you smoke no more in jail, so... Got to put your mind in something else, huh? Yeah, he probably getting extorted in jail, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this dude was a killer. He was convicted killer. Man, them other killers in jail don't give a damn. They extorting the hell out of his ass. Oh, you better... Yeah, we heard about 16000 Oh, nah, he probably doing they ass. Yeah. Extorting they ass. Yeah, because you know what? That's a lot of... You, 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 you can... You could do a lot, man, with that type of money coming in on your books, man. You could, you could control a lot of people. I believe that's what they call FU money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 We get fuck y'all money. <laughs> yeah. So he's a dumbass turned genius. <laughs> <laughs> in yeah. jail. Ain't that some well, shit? Well, if he's such a damn genius, what's he still doing in jail? Well, because he's a convicted, question. he a convicted killer, he can't get out. That's probably what he he's got. If he's rolling in the money, man, he could get a, get somebody to break him out. He had, a, he had a tattoo on his body saying, "Yeah, I did it." <laughs> I know this guy's plan, man. Just thinking about, I know his plan. He planned to go to jail. He wanted to go to jail just so he can be the boss in jail. Period. You gonna tattoo the murder scene on your on your body, right? That means, okay, motherfucker, I want you to take me to jail. So you saying when he was a kid, he was like, man, I want to be the boss in, in jail. jail. <laughs> Damn. Damn. He cold. He planned it out, though. <laughs> he planned it out. <laughs> Ever since he was six years old. Now he's finally uh, at his dreams. <laughs> so, T.O., yeah, you might want to take advice from that dude, man. He he going hard behind bars. Yeah. T.O., when you go to jail for not paying your bills... Have somebody send you uh sixteen thousand a a year, man. You'll a month. Oh uh, damn, my bad. Sixteen hundred. It was sixteen hundred a month. Yeah, sixteen hundred a month. Woo, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Damn. I'm sending folk money in jail. It's like twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> every three months. Like, woo, damn, he's he doing good. Right. Boy, doing good. Now, To might want to take advice from this next dude or these next people. Did y'all hear about this story? We y'all here in Austin, you know the SWAC tournament that's been going on, right? The Southwest, with Southwest at something? Athletic South Conference. South by Southwest, South by yeah. Southwest, yeah. Right, right. Right. You been hearing about that? It's been going on in Austin or whatever? Yeah. <clears throat> well, the city of Austin has been paying homeless people $20 a day. Yep. You heard about that? For what? Well, <laughs> to walk around with the wireless r- routers because yeah. people's reception on their phones been bad. So they've been paying them to walk around just with the wireless, the you know, the router in their hands, so people's yeah. phones can work. Oh, I know about all. I know all about that. I got about 80, 80 to one hundred twenty dollars uh, the last six days, man. You been homeless? You been? Uh... <laughs> yeah, I drove down to San Antonio and took advantage of that. It was Austin, player. See, you was in the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you was out there by yourself holding the router. He was at the Riverwalk trying to make some money. What? Wow, man. T.O. might want to take it, you know, some pointers from them. <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> How you going to send T.O. to Austin, I'm just trying to help the brother out, to you know what I'm <laughs> Homeless like that, Well, man. he ain't got to be homeless. Well, well, he did get his house back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did get his house foreclosed on. So, man, uh, you hard on uh, T.O., man. Man, I like T.O., man. I'm just saying. Nah. I, hey, I, because the homeless man, like when people tip them and everything, yeah, like mm-hmm. appreciate it, you know, and they get to keep the tips and everything and get paid the twenty dollars a day. Man, I'm there. I'm there, dog. When I leave the show, I'm going to Austin. 
I ain't lying. As soon as this show is over, Dark Side Elite, y'all go down to Austin and support me, players. Apparently, that's where Pew at in Austin. <laughs> Talking about he's in some Pew practice. already up on it. Yeah, Pew already on it. <laughs> go ahead, Pew. We know what you're doing, player. Pew done got like a $240 already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, spring break. For real. Track. It did leave and get in the jag. <laughs> Drive off in the jet. Damn. Man, what a treat it is to be homeless in Austin. Damn, ain't that something? Can, they you, gotta... see, can you see Texas uh, Dallas doing that? What? <laughs> Man, please. Dallas gives a damn about the homeless. I remember we had the, the, the soccer. Remember, remember the soccer? Yeah, the World Cup. The World Cup came down here. Man, they... <laughs> They brought out like a big ass oversized homeless broom. And swept the hands. <laughs> it swept the damn homeless like to McKinney or some shit. Like, I'll get y'all asses out of they downtown all, Dallas. They sent them all the way down to Waco. Yeah. All the way down. They're all still down there. The yeah, thing. they're still down there. They ain't got no money to get back to Dallas. Remember that though, man? We had the word to do. Now the city of, Dallas, city of Dallas was like, what homeless people? Yeah, exactly. The World Cup we got no coming. problems. Yeah. We're, we're world class. Exactly. <laughs> world Cup coming? Oh, okay. <laughs> we ain't got no homeless down there, damn it. Boy, they did the roundup quick as hell. I had to make sure I wasn't wearing no raggedy clothes that day, too. Because huh? <laughs> your ass would have got swept up. I was scared as hell, boy. I was... <laughs> Yeah, we don't do like Austin, man. Austin gives the homeless money. So homeless people, go to Austin. If you want some money, damn it. If you want to come up, go to Austin. Man, I want to tell you about this one right here. Man, I, I believe it was a Fort Worth firefighter. Did y'all hear about this one? Uh-oh. Man, he, he was off of work. Uh-oh. His day off. <laughs> Went up to work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And had a damn gun on him. No, nah, he was a firefighter. Yeah, the firefighter. Yeah, black dude. Pointed at his uh, friends and carrying on, acting funny, and and the gun ended up going off. Ah, <laughs> yep, heard about that one too. Yep. So yeah, he ended up getting fired <laughs> and going to jail. Damn. Yes. Yes. This happened like last week. What you got? Yeah, that's uh, most commonly called in the business as a desk pop. <laughs> a desk pop. Go desk pop pop. In Damn. the station, yeah, but he wasn't he wasn't going to be mad at nobody. He was just goofing around. That's what that's what a desk pop is, man. Just let one off, mess around and shot his foot and shit. Yep. Yeah, he was like, man, I know what I'm it. doing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, man, I know what I'm doing with this, man. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Next thing you know, he ain't got no job and he going to jail. Uh, they said some of his uh, firefighter friends tried to help him out by not letting the secret spill out right away. Cause it was like a week later after it happened for they actually end up sending him to jail. Wow. Yeah, and guys, there's an interesting side story to that. Apparently, uh, our friends at Fox Four busted that out. I believe it was what Thursday. Yeah. Thursday night, and the story is going around. Apparently, they may have got a uh, <clears throat> inside tip. I seen it on Fox Four. Yeah, right? apparently they got an inside tip. How how ironic! They were right in front of his house to go see if they could knock on his door. Oh, and then the cops show up. Yeah, Damn. I mean, oh, sounds like some sort of. Damn, that's that boy. Damn. No, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Still in traffic. Still in traffic. Still right there. <laughs> that boy Pew is not with us. So the Fort Worth firefighter had his gun go off on his day off. On his day off. Yeah, mm -hmm. on his day off. How you gonna get fired on your day off? I want to ask y'all this. Is he in a Friday morning? When, when it's, when it's y'all's day off, do y'all ever go up to work? What? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you almost caused an uh, angry reaction out to Jay right there, man. Like, who does that? No, who goes up to work on their day off? I don't even want to talk about or think about work on my day off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's like school and shit back in the day. It's the weekend, damn it. I'm <laughs> I ain't thinking about school yeah, or nothing like when that. When that time come. Man, dog! Wow. So that's uh that's unfortunate for him, man. Yeah, he ain't got no job no more. A firefighter, huh? No, his wife went out all, all across his head when he got to the crib. Man, what you talking? Yeah, about? you did what? <laughs> his wife is still hitting him in his upside the head. <laughs> what well, she was before he went to jail, right? 
Now he in jail trying to uh, cop something off the dude that's getting sixteen hundred dollars a month. <laughs> For real, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He trying to get help from that dude now. You know what I'm saying? Damn, come on, firefighter man, that's one less firefighter. We need those guys. You know what I'm saying? The hell you doing with a gun anyway? You ain't no police come officer. Come on, play his ass. Yeah. yeah, well, that's all I got right there, fellas. Least listeners, like I said, give us a call 214 714. That was the news you can use. Oh, my bad. 9111. <laughs> Already 214 741. <laughs> I just made it first. Six yeah, digits. You gave us like half the number. 214 741 9111. That was the famous. And you know you love it, the news you can use. Y'all come on back for the second sports segment, babies. Dark Side Sports Radio. Three's company, see the Donald Trump in me, Mick Jagger swagger, caught her in the grocery store and bagged her faster. I am not your average savage, fucking with survival. Who is that RB? No, bitch, it's just got it. I am the highest, ain't nobody higher. I'll take your bitch and sell her back, homie, you can buy her. Kobe put me out, I think that I'm on fire. Ain't nobody flying. I'm the flyers. Ain't nobody flyer. If they tell you different, they some motherfucking liars. I'm the coolest. Ain't nobody cooler. Fuck what you heard. Don't let them boys fool ya. I'm the greatest. Ain't nobody greater. If they tell you different, they some motherfucking haters. I'm the realest. Ain't nobody realer. Fuck what you heard. You know I'm that nigga. At the top, but I came from the bottom. Now I'm at the mall. I took all of my dog shopping. Cadillac car, Cadillac shoes, Cadillac flow. I'm the definition of cool, and I will never stop. Forever I'm a rider. Try to get a grip, she want me to go inside her. Money comes first, I ain't worried about that. I'm here to get paid and put my worries in the past. We buy the best cush, sport the flies garments. My life is tremendous, I feel so enormous. It's me against the world, I have nothing to lose. Send my little pock, I'm an outlaw on the move. And I would never rat, snitching ain't in my blood. I'm a stand up guy type of nigga you wish you was. If you come across the trash, you better be with us. If you ain't, you better know it's whatever you want, come. I'm the flyer.
Get, get, get your ass away. Get on, man. Quit all that shit. You don't need nothing. No one near your motherfucker. Yeah. Your mother. Young Savage, man. Young Savage, man. Yeah. 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 You're missing out on something real special. Uh, you ain't heard nothing. You ain't heard nothing. I'm the topic of discussion. You ain't talking about nothing. Listen, talking about me. Talking about me. If you ain't talking about me, you ain't talking about nothing. God comes first. His family comes next. For those still breathing, consider yourself blessed. Money comes third. I chase it like a cheetah. If hatred is a game, you know I'm going to be. I so came, but my 16s is worth 50, 50 down, wow, that's a big number, foul hit me up and said winners calling me young summer, yeah, if in the season's talking by me, I'm guaranteed nigga, that's far from a problem, you ain't heard nothing, you ain't heard nothing, I'm the topic of discussion, you ain't talking about nothing, let's talk about nothing. It's nothing to discuss unless we talking about cake And now I ain't referring to the type of shit you bake Niggas ain't real, so I know they go hate I make music for the hood and whoever relates From mom and pop stores to the internet sales I'm known through the streets as he who prevails Okay, you're a shark, but that's nothing to a whale I got my fingers in the grind, dirt under my nails You ain't heard nothing, you ain't heard nothing I'm the topic Discussion, you ain't talking about nothing. Listen, talking about me, talking about me. If you ain't talking about me, you ain't talking about nothing. You ain't heard nothing, you ain't heard nothing. I'm the topic of discussion. You ain't talking about nothing. Listen, talking about me, talking about me. If you ain't talking about me, you ain't talking about nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, back on with you, Dark Side Sports Radio. That was our boy, Colby Savage. Was that track number 15? Track number 15. Oh, that yeah, was, he doing his you thing. You ain't heard nothing. <laughs> Yo, Colby Savage, I'm trying to tell you, you ain't heard nothing, tracks 15. Hit us up, Colby, man. Welcome in the studio, man. You jamming, doing your thing, player. That boy is really, we have really <clears throat> been enjoying his music, seriously, man. He, and he's a local artist. He sounds like he's already made it. I don't know why he's still local. Seriously, man. Kobe Savage, y'all check that boy out. We're going to come on with the second sports uh, segment right here, man. Let me try to jump on the uh, uh, Redskins real quick. Another team in our division. Redskins gave up a number two and three number one picks in order to jump up to the number two spot in the draft. Now, we all know that the number one player drafted is going to be the guy from Stanford. Yeah, uh, 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 Luck. Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck for the uh, yeah, the he, Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, he going to the coast. So, number two, everybody RG3. knows. RG3. Oh, yeah. RG3. That's Robert Griffin the third for y'all. Robert know. Griffin the third from Baylor who actually won – the uh Heisman, the Trophy. Heisman Heisman in college what y'all think about the Redskins picking this guy man I think that's an excellent pickup for anybody but you know for the Redskins especially because sorry as they was doing <laughs> now they can build a team that they got they're gonna have to get their boy some receivers though who they got Santana now, Moss and now this is what else? they say if the Redskins go ahead and do get RG3 the Cowboys are gonna be the sorriest team in the division that's what a lot of people say. Yeah. The Redskins actually picked up three receivers. Now, by how the Redskins have been have been picking up uh, guys in the offseason in the past seasons, how they pick up like old, worn out players. 
when I heard that they picked up three wide receivers, I the first thing that came to mind was uh they making moves. Was uh Sanders, Clark, and uh, Art Monk. Man, what the hell? You know, I thought they was. Boy, gonna, uh, I thought they was man, gonna, the hell? I thought they was Come gonna on. bring those guys back from the '80s, right there. No, man. <laughs> they actually got Pierre Garcon. That's a good yeah. pick. That's a good pick right. from from the uh, the coach. Yeah, coach. This guy had a lot of touchdowns last year without Peyton Manning. Yeah, he right. French. They got Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that had anything about. No, he French. <laughs> absolutely. <not. laughs> they got Josh Morgan from the uh, San Francisco 49ers. That's a good pick. And they got Eddie Royal. That's a good pick. I Eddie Royal is a good wide receiver. I got a lot of respect yeah. for Eddie, Eddie Royal. Royal. He's oh, been yeah. doing his thing. He was a uh, receiver for Denver right there. So uh, they got some receivers for your boy RG3. Do y'all think RG3 is going to be actually on the field this year? Or do you think they're going to try to wait half a season? Or I maybe think they'll a wait season? a couple games, maybe. Yeah, I see him getting on yeah. the field. He'll get season. on the field yeah. this yeah. season. No doubt. It's going to take a few games, maybe halfway through the season. Who, who's their starting quarterback as of now? You know, they're starting quarterback. Yeah, Redskins. Wow, I can hit Wikipedia and find out for you. Hey, let's find that I out. I know who it is too. Damn, who? Damn, I know who it is. So I'm sorry, dude. But basically, the Redskins quarterback. Was it Donovan I mean, McNabb? Donovan gone. No, man. <laughs> you know McNabb gone. Wow, that's it. Yeah, that's hey. And see, so I guess that's one reason why the Cowboy fans I don't know why I the, say Brunel. and the other teams in the division, the Eagles and the Giants, are not too worried this particular year because he's got to go through his growing pains. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Obviously, they don't have a quarterback, so they're probably going to go ahead and put RG3 out there. Okay. And uh, and just roll mm-hmm. with it and see how he does. Yeah. I told you, Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel. Oh, no, who? Rex Grossman. And uh, John Beck, whoever that is. Oh, God. Rex Grossman. They might as well put the water boy back there. <laughs> they might as well <laughs> put me back there. <laughs> so that RG3 er, er, pick. Check, huh? That RG3 pick Rex was a damn Gross- good pick. Yeah, Rex Grossman, of course, I believe, is not going to be playing. John Beck, I think John Beck, Beck is going to go ahead and start out as their quarterback, and then I think they're going to ease their way into RG3 this season. So... Man, Cowboys gonna have to deal with this guy RG three for the next three years, man. Me, me personally, like everybody else, I think RG three is gonna be a hell of a football player, man. No doubt, no doubt. I, I really do. I really do. So, damn. And yeah, we gonna have to see that man <laughs> twice a year. Hey. We gonna have to continue to vamp up our defense to try to contain this guy because he's gonna be a hell of a force. Hopefully, he ends up being sorry as hell. Oh, no man, man, come on. Come on no, man. no, damn. That boy went to, that boy went to, <laughs> no, damn, he go to damn. Baylor, man. He went to Baylor. That's homegrown right there, player. Black quarterback and all of that. Damn that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm a die hard. Uh, I'm a die hard Dallas uh, Cowboy. Yeah, we all are, but yeah. you can't just uh, no, no, hopefully, damn somebody that's talented as hell. No, hopefully he ends up. He got the Heisman. Play. Come on. Yeah, they don't always equate to. Uh, I yeah, know it, but still, I know it. Hopefully he ends up being a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is you're hoping he becomes another um, Albert Hainsworth. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or, no, Albert had a like mental or attitude problem yeah, or something. Yeah, RG3 yeah. ain't yeah. got that. Yeah, RG's got his head in the right place. Yeah. Right, right. And, see, and see, that's another thing. The guy is smart as hell, man. He, he really is. He's one of these smart guys, and, and he just, ha- just so happens to be hell of athletic. And he just so happens to have a hell of an arm. So he looks like he's going to be great. But again, as a Dallas Cowboy fan, <laughs> uh, hopefully he ends up being sorry. Or or at least average. J.D., like our second string quarterback, better than he do all of them. RG3 and Romo. Nah, not bad. Yeah, nah. Oh, man. Nah. I don't he think, root for Kyle Orton. I don't think he has more. Uh, Over Romo and RG3. I don't think he has more upside as RG3. But Romo, all I'm saying is Romo, watch out. Because Kyle Orton is hungry as hell, man. Yep. Kyle Orton is hungry as hell. He's one of these guys. He's always wanted to be a cowboy like everybody else. Should have so, been a cowboy. Yeah. Should have been a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Should have learned to roll around. That's his shit no, right there. That's, that's, my song. Song, that's his no, shit. Ain't right gonna say, ain't gonna say the whole song. That's why I started yeah. singing. Nah, I will. He will hit that song on your ass. Trust me. <laughs> 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 
we ain't we ain't got it. We ain't got enough time for all that. Okay. <laughs> Let's just move <laughs> right along. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, the doggone Redskins. Make me angry as hell. Yeah. But the Eagles didn't make much noise. They just uh, really re-signed Jackson. What was the boy that Jackson? was a good yeah, move. That was Deshaun good Jackson. Move. Deshaun That's Jackson. a good move. Yeah. Hell of a move. Pay that man. Him. They should have already breaker. paid him a long time ago. But, but they, they done paid him now. They finally paid him. So And they still got Vic on their team. They still got Michael <laughs> uh, Dog Killer Vic. Oh, um, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Come on, man. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that's a, yeah. that's going to be another, you know, force to be reckoned with. And, and I think I think it's actually good for the Cowboys to have all this talent. I really do. For them to have a bunch of talent within the division because if you can get past all these talented teams, oh, yeah. yep. that means that once you get to the playoffs, you're going to be pretty hardened, man, to yeah. go battle tested. Exactly. You know battle tested to go yeah. to that Super Bowl and win it, man. So We need another one. The more the merrier, you know what I mean? Um, well, we talked about the Redskins. Oh, got to get to our boy Eli Manning. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Eli, he's narrowed it down to two teams. You talking Tennessee. about Peyton. You mean Peyton, Peyton Manning. Manning. Damn, did I say Eli? Yeah, yeah man, man, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I got it wrote down and every damn thing. I'm stuck on Eli from last year. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Eli has won the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, Peyton Manning been uh, jet setting. He been on these pipes. Pey- Peyton Manning, the guy who I wanted the Cowboys to actually go after and get rid of uh, Tony Romo for two first round picks. Get Peyton Manning. Revamp your whole team with the picks he got for Manning, and then and I'm um, excuse me from Romo, and then we roll with Peyton Manning. Okay. That Cowboys. ain't going to be the case because he said he didn't want to play for an NFC team. Well, the Cowboys decided not to do that. Yeah, and that's another thing. They said the, another reason that Peyton Manning was not going to come to the NFC East is because he didn't want to compete with his brother Eli. Yeah. I thought that was I thought that was stupid, man, because I'm like, you don't want to compete. They said that he didn't want to compete with Eli because him and Eli wanted to meet each other in the Super Bowl. Mm. I didn't get that. I don't, maybe it does make sense, but yeah, to me, it's it, it, just a stingy ass family, is what it is. Yeah, it's, <laughs> basically. Yeah, they know how to play the game, is what yeah. it is. Yeah, I think it's Papa Archie trying to put them, you know, together, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, he's he's definitely pulling the strings. Yeah, his you know father. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, his father may have most definitely had, a, had something to do with that. You're right about that. But that's not going to be the case because he's shopping around for Denver and Tennessee because and the Redskins, San Francisco. Yep. Yeah, San they San were the sleeper team. Yeah, they did get Randy Moss too. He go to San Francisco. Ah, San Francisco is most definitely in the mix. Oh yeah, but Washington was also mm-hmm. in the mix, and they had a great chance to get them. But I guess that NFC. I don't want to be in the same division with my brother. I guess that thing kind of actually ended up being true because the Redskins had no chance to get them. We wasn't even thinking about getting them. Which right. I oh. thought. I thought we should have been in that in that Peyton Manning race, but. He's narrowed it down to two teams, the Denver Broncos and the Tennessee Titans. He's Tennessee, got- they said, had a chance because Tennessee, his wife is from Tennessee. And he went to right, school right. in Tennessee. Yep. And, yeah, he went to school in Tennessee. Had a little rendezvous with some hooker or something like that in Tennessee, too, I think. Uh, but, Are you uh, sure that wasn't Roethlisberger? No. Nah, was- <laughs> 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 Roethlisberger had a rendezvous with hookers in every other state. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But right. uh, you know, <laughs> Peyton yeah. Manning we only had to run if we with one hooker in uh, Tennessee. But anyway, Peyton is gonna slap the hell out of you when he sees you. <laughs> you know that, right? He gonna headbutt that fool. <laughs> yeah, he got a big ass head too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, they say Peyton Tennessee has a shot. But you know what, man? He's going to the Broncos. Don't worry about it. He's going to the Broncos because the Broncos have better coaching. Mm-hmm. This is a coach's lead. Mm-hmm. John Fox. Took another team, took another, well, excuse me, John Fox took a sorry ass quarterback and Jake Dell home yep. to the Super Bowl <clears throat> back when he was coaching the Carolina Panthers. You saw what he did with sorry ass Tim Tebow last year. Right. So imagine what John Fox can do with arguably the greatest quarterback of all time. And they still mm-hmm. got, you know, Elway up there. They you know, st- kind of keep it over uh, the overseer, whatever you want to call it. That's another very big GM factor. or something like that, right? Elway going to let him do whatever he want to do. In my opinion, <laughs> Now, this is JD's controversial opinion, but I believe John Elway is the greatest quarterback of all time. What? I think he's the greatest quarterback of all time. John Elway, the greatest quarterback of all time. He, 
He took three teams to the Super Bowl back in the day when. So okay, football is the ultimate team sport, right? Right. John yep. Elway took three teams to the Super Bowl with no other Hall of Famers around him. He, he was yep. like the Michael Jordan of quarterbacks. When he finally got a team, a team around him in his old, in his elder age as a quarterback, ended up winning two Super Bowls. So, in my opinion, John Elway is the greatest quarterback of all times. You couple this guy, okay? You couple John Elway uh, with Peyton Manning. I see that as being a success story, man. I think Peyton Manning loves the fact that John Elway is is in power in the front office and he's making great decisions and he's the decision maker. I think that has a factor, but the biggest factor I have of uh, Peyton Manning going on to uh, the Broncos <clears throat> is it, it, as opposed to the Titans, the Broncos have better coaching and they have better defense period. Yeah, and I would got, say, they do got a defense, I want, yeah. I want, I really want to say the Broncos have a great running game. I wanted to say they have a the best running, the better running game too, but I forgot about the Titans running back. You Talking know. about uh, Chris, Chris Johnson. Johnson. Chris yeah, Chris Johnson. Johnson. I can't oh, go. Yeah. I can't go against Chris Johnson. I'm sorry. So, yeah, he got so, paid now, so he's the, not gonna be yeah. running too much. The Titans, <laughs> the Titans might have, uh, you know, the running game over over the Broncos, but the defense <clears> and. The coaching and the GM, the Broncos got that over Tennessee. So I feel like I feel like Peyton's going. To I still the Broncos. wouldn't count out San Francisco though. I wouldn't count wouldn't. out San Francisco either because San Francisco has a hell of a coach. They have yeah. a, a hell of a defense. True, but um, for some reason I think I just think the the Broncos it would it, it's an easier division for some for whatever reason. Right. I think they oh, have yeah. a, a better a, you know an easier division and. And I just think they have a hell of a defense in their own right. You know, those doggone defensive ends, remember one of them was hurt last year. Yeah. Dumaville and the other boy. Uh, I'm not sure who the other Von guy Miller. was. it Was it Miller? No, it wasn't. You're yeah, Von Denver? Miller did Denver. get hurt, didn't he, from uh, A&M. Yeah, from A&M. Yeah. You're talking about Denver? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Von Miller. Woo! Yeah. He be wearing them glasses. That boy was going <laughs> hard. That boy, he just got hurt, man. If he wouldn't have got hurt. Oh man, Denver still yeah, would have lost. Tough. But yeah, it just, just wasn't Denver's time this but year. But think of what Denver did. Whoa. Think of what Denver did without a quarterback. Denver didn't even have a quarterback last year. It still got to the damn playoffs. So just think if they had a Peyton Manning. Man, quit talking bad about T-Bow on the slide, dog. Oh, I, I'm just <laughs> saying, oh, no, man. We already know what you're doing, man. You Excuse done touched me. on the quarterback like eight times. <laughs> Excuse me, Marvino. Uh, I'm not talking bad about T-Bow on the slide. I'm talking bad about T-Bow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, T-Bow is bad. <laughs> and hope. Damn and and, and I'm going to tell you another thing about Denver. If This is the perfect situation for Denver because – if Denver is able to get uh, Peyton Manning, then they can trade Eli to the nearest sucker. And the and the, and the Eli, Eli, what are you talking about, man? Being Peyton, right? See what I'm talking you mean about they t- trade Tim Tebow. Yeah, to Tebow. Oh, Tebow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Once they get Peyton Manning, yeah, they can trade Tim Tebow to the nearest sucker. Who, who who who's going to be in this case everybody yeah, thinks man, it's, it's going, going to be somewhere, man. everybody thinks it's going to be uh Jacksonville. Yeah. I can I, see that. And I keep hearing this <clears throat> dumb this dumb stuff, man. People keep talking about if Tim Tebow goes to to the Jacksonville Jaguars, mm-hmm. right? Then uh Jacksonville is going to be able to sell a lot of tickets. It's all uh, about. Well, it's, it's all about selling a lot of. T- well, you if, I mean, you, you I think mean, the league is not all about making money? Right, I mean, come on. I understand that, but you can't have a franchise stay if you're not making money. If Jerry wouldn't make selling no tickets, it'd be a problem. The Thank Cowboys. You. The Cowboys. <laughs> for real. It's different. It's different with the Cowboys. The Cowboys are a totally different organization than the Jackson ja- Jacksonville yeah, Jaguars. That's why they need. The Cowboys help. are going to sell tickets just because of the Cowboys and the history. Jacksonville. They saying that okay, if T Bow gets if Jacksonville gets T Bow, they're gonna sell a lot of tickets. It's all about selling tickets. Look, when you win football games, you sell tickets. You sell tickets. Okay, yep. but okay. if you can't win and you still need to sell tickets, thank you. Then what that, you gonna do? That's why it's a silly, <laughs> stupid ass argument brought up by 
Skip homosexual Bayless. Oh, oh come on, oh, man. What's man, Skip come on. Hi, I'm man. Skip Bayless. Hello. How are you, boys? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Talk to Skip. Talk to Skip. Would you like to meet my brother, Rick? He makes great Mexican food. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but Skip called uh, Troy Aikman a homosexual, so it's only, it's only fair for me to call him a homosexual. Mm-hmm. What you know, whatever homosexuals think about that, you can think whatever you want to think. But yo, let me tell you something right here, right now. Tim Tebow will sell tickets in Jacksonville. That's yep, all they want yep. to do. The first three games. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that? He man? gonna sell out the first three games. When what's, he, what's gonna happen after that? Once he goes zero and three. Yeah. Then he gonna have a hard ass time selling tickets. That's amazing. No. No, he he not gonna go three and zero player, especially in in Jacksonville. Okay, so when <laughs> he, he got drunk, Jones Drew after, yep, right yep. after sixteen games, when Tim Tebow in Jacksonville ends up two and fourteen, then how many tickets is he gonna sell? That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah, but what you're saying ain't gonna happen. You oh really? It, oh so really? What's, what's gonna happen, Marvino? I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it ain't what you talking about. I can tell you that. No two and fourteen. So no, when John, it's gonna when be better John than El- that. Though. When John Elway comes, if he even go to Jacksonville, right, right. You so know what I'm saying? When John Elway picks up Peyton Manning, and okay. Peyton Manning comes to Denver, okay, then Denver is gonna have an opportunity to actually trade T because it's gonna be some suckers out there. This gonna want Tim Tebow, so yeah. I think Jacksonville is gonna be the biggest sucker. So when Jacksonville oh, gets Tim Tebow, <laughs> well, still, what you think is gonna happen? I don't know. It's still a lot of shit that gotta happen before he go to Jacksonville. Yeah. Okay, we're we gonna real. see uh, what's yeah. gonna happen. Then, Let's just know? say that he goes to Jacksonville. What's gonna happen? I think Tebow will win games wherever he go. What's the record gonna be for Jacksonville? I don't know what the record's gonna be. That's so that's some imaginatory ass shit, you know. So apparently, uh, I think he at least get five hundred out the year. The you know future of football told by Nick Radamus. Right. right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Come on, Negro yeah, Domus. Yeah, got? the future now, of football Negro. by Negro Domus over here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You just can't say that uh, he's going to go to Jacksonville and Peyton Man's going to Denver Broncos. You don't know what the hell's going to happen. Peyton is going to Denver. Man, he might go to Tennessee, man. He no. got more, like you said, his wife is from Tennessee. No. Probably got a you house out there. Yeah, he he plays school in Tennessee. No. Yeah. Man. There's two right there. Exactly. No. Hey, Tennessee and the 49ers in San Francisco. Peyton Manning and Chris Johnson? They have Ooh. a shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Come on, man. The Titans and the 49ers most definitely have the shot, but I think the biggest shot is with the Broncos because what the Broncos did last year without a quarterback is highly impressive. It's highly impressive. So y'all look for Peyton to go to Denver, look for Tebow to go to Jacksonville <sighs> and not win any games in Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> And hold on, what did I say on this on this show two weeks ago? I said, and I'm gonna stand by this, next year Tebow will not finish the season being a starting quarterback. Oh, because, I could have. Because he's gonna be benched. Now he's already out of out of Denver because Peyton's coming. So nah. I'll, he's already out of Denver. Or or at the least, if even if Denver keeps him, he's not gonna be a starter. He's gonna be on the bench, just like I said. So Either way, JD is gonna end up being right. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, way to way to hedge your bets, you know. For what I'm real, yeah. JD, uh, David, Eddie came roughing in the house. The baby. same guy that was sitting in the lawn chair at the beginning of last yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I won't be in the lawn yeah. chair again. <laughs> but go back it, and look at them shows. Damn it, those are our predictions right there. So no, nah, those are your predictions. Excuse right, me. those yeah. are my predictions. So I want y'all to sit back, mm-hmm. listen to my boy Col- Colby Savage. We're going to go into the break right here. We're going to come back with some Dark Side Sports Time Machine and... Some to G or not to G. Some to G or not to G. Not the, cold we, for we, yeah, already. And then we're going to come back with some come on players. So y'all come back with that uh, and listen to that extravaganza. 214-741-9111. Dark Side Sports Radio. Radio. Times ticking away. I gotta catch it though. 
Yeah. My cigarette lit. I'm headed for the clouds. They love when I visit, so I'm leaving right now. Today's trials and tribulations took a toll on my soul. If what tomorrow brings, nigga, only God knows. The truth doesn't hurt, but lying seems to kill me. I'm flying through the streets, no chasing for my handy. Good moments never last, so I'm trying to live in it. And time travels fast, I know I missed a few minutes. Champagne bottles, we celebrate success. We celebrate like gorillas, you know, pound over chest. And soldiers never die, they only become martyrs. I used to ride the bitch, but now I'm a damn starter. Black lenses, blue charger. New shoes, fresh fade from my barber. Fresh fragrance on my face, cool water. And being flies a crime, I guess I need me a lawyer. Time steady flying, so I'm flying right with it. Money on my mind, all I gotta do is get it. Follow through, grind hard to the finish. Tomorrow's never promised, so I cherish every minute. I cherish every minute. I cherish every minute. Uh, I cherish every minute. Uh, I cherish every minute. Uh, Some always never promise, so I cherish every minute. Time so waits for no man, that's the God's son is truth. Bitch, I fell from the roof and passed me the truth. Mr. Savage, catch me in the fly's fabrics. The flow elaborate, we the best like Kelly. Salute a G, respect who I grew to be. The oozy speak and silence any foolery. Times is changing, I've experienced all anguish. I'm still remaining, still speaking that King's language. Trill nigga, like Mr. Chad Butler was. I'm so for show the streets, nickname me Rise Above. Listen, Mrs. Music, I'ma have to tie you up. I'ma have to hold your hostage, so get comfortable, love. I follow through like basketball players do. My money triple like threes, you can keep the two. A stranger said underneath the sun, nothing's new. I spit a verse and changed up his whole point of view. Time steady flying, so I'm flying right with it. Money on my mind, all I gotta do is get it. Follow through, grind hard to the finish. Tomorrow's never promised, so I cherish every minute. I cherish every minute. Uh, I cherish every minute. Uh, I cherish every minute. Tomorrow's never promised, so I cherish every minute. Just a little girl in the world all alone Searching for somebody that could put her in a home Somebody saw that body, told her he could put her on And now she's a nobody, on this Bobby giving down She give knowledge, suck your pockets dry She know her ass fat And she know that pussy good Mama tell her use what she got And she work it good Misunderstood, she open legs And work the bed Really she just looking for somebody Who can keep her fed Her long bro, a fucking this sucking penny kiss Three baby dads it all them niggas in the pen Wish I could say for sure Things get her mind right Showing love is a true blessing, not niggas laying pipes. How you learning, bring higher earnings, girl, do it right. Get on the mission for bigger blessings and live your life. Take that attention off your ass and show them about your class. Take that attention off your ass. She was just a little girl in the world all alone. Searching for somebody that could put her in a home. Somebody saw that body, told her he could put her on. Nobody on it, Bobby, giving down too far from home. A long way 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 from home. Hey, baby, this lady is crazy, ain't it? Her life is tainted, and I could have fainted. 
it from the sexy side a nigga face with I can see you chasing in eerie places, avoiding cases Some open arms and embraces, fake now your time is wasted You be on your grind, you make it You done lost your mind, you angry When you get your dimes, it's taken Lost in the world, so blind from Satan See Jesus saves, but we are slaves to our addiction Temptation stains the brain waves of niggas' visions Don't be ashamed, get in the game, you gotta get it And pray for rain to wash the blame, be guilty feelings Leave that hoe as nothing, nigga, do you and reach your potential You can see the bigger picture, cause your mouth was just a little girl in the world all alone Searching for somebody that could put her in a home Somebody saw that body, told her he could put her on She's a nobody on this Bobby giving down too far from home alone. Tales. She did okay in school, her teachers knew her well But somewhere down the line, she got involved in crime She tried to play a pimp, but that pimp blew her mind Now she turning tricks, hustling, sucking different dicks Isn't it ridiculous, look how they took her innocence Her innocence is gone, and it's been gone for way too long Even with a GPS, she can't find a way back home She pop pills, she sniff coke, she got dealers that she owe If she fail to pay them dealers, she gon' have to do them both uh, Nasty girl, why you doing what you do instead of being who you You become a prostitute, but her consciousness is numb, and her skin is bulletproof. Only way to hurt her now is to shoot her with the truth. Life is like a box of chocolates. What you see is what you get. If you see yourself a queen, niggas wouldn't come to She was just a little girl in the world all alone. Searching for somebody that could put her in a home. Somebody saw that body, told her he could put her on. She's a nobody on this Bobby Gibbon day Too far from home A long way from home A long way from home Too far from home Yo, we are back with you, uh, man. Kobe Savage. Uh, doing your thing, uh, player. Goodness, Whoever man. singing that hook going hard. Track number 10 with time and track number 11 you just heard is Far From Home. Far Yo, From man, Home is this, awesome indeed. Oh, this, yeah. Oh, this, yeah. This, oh, man, they got talent, for real. No, man. this boy <clears throat> right here is rapping, man. We're going to have to try to get this dude up in the studio or something, man. This is crazy, man. <laughs> this is like yeah. real rapping right here. This is what I'm talking That's about. That's music. Hey, right he's, he's That's actually music. He's big friends of uh, Mars, so we can, okay. probably, we can probably get him in. All right, yo, no doubt. No sure. doubt. Yeah, yeah. Get, get the get Mars show. Here. Littles Holloman in here. We're going to have to. Yo, yo, Kobe Savage, I'm a damn fan. I'm trying to tell you right now, man. That boy is going hard. Catch out Kobe Fa- uh, Savage. And uh, go to YouTube to catch them out. Go anywhere, man. Yahoo.com. The boy is on there, man. Check out the music. Yo, we got <clears> some uh, We got some uh, Dark Side Time Machine coming for you. Mm-mm. Yeah, I had a Dark Side Time Machine, man. Uh, just one of them. Y'all got some? Just me. Nah, just me. Nah. We're going to go back in time, man. Rewind <laughs> your mind. I think you, you know, know what I mean on the Dark, dark Side, side sports, sports Time Machine. <laughs> That horrible performance right there was done by J.D. and Marvino. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, that was just J.D. If you can't, if Actually, you can't throw your tomatoes, that was you, can, the drunk man you can't version. throw your tomatoes, just mail them, you know, or, or something. <laughs> <laughs> Email <laughs> your tomatoes. Horrible, yeah. <laughs> horrible, man. Anyways, what you they got? They love that us, song. What you talking about? Could it, what you got yeah. for us, baby? Uh, uh, man, mm-hmm. what did I have? God damn it. <laughs> See, we trying to go back in time. Man. Yeah, going you know. back in time. Done got hung and, up and in the time machine. And I lost your mind. <laughs> you know, time and machine. And done got hung mind. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Man, do y'all remember Super Day? Oh. Uh, no. What? P-O-Y-O. I think we've done this before. Have we done it before? Yeah. It might have been two years ago, though. <laughs> Damn it, we could do it again. Super Dave Osborne. Super Dave Osborne. He used to do the stunts and shit. 
They used to it's come like that was a evil Knievel. Yeah. They used no. to come on right in the middle of Benny Hill. Yeah. <laughs> If you're old, if you were, damn it, I'm from the old school, like JD. <laughs> you was watching uh, Benny Hill. Benny Hill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Late at night now. Yeah. When you should have okay. been asleep. You should have been asleep. Yeah. It's about one in the morning. Benny Hill came on. <laughs> and in the middle of Benny Hill, <laughs> Super Dave Osborne. Super Dave Osborne. <laughs> what you got about? What, so, story, what Super Dave Osborne story you got for? I ain't got no Super Dave Osborne story. Well, I'll well, just, you know, remember them for kind of stuff for some do? reason. I think I recently heard him on a commercial, like a new commercial, you know, talking just about something, and, you know. But I'm saying, what out. kind of stunts would he Super do? Super Dave I mean, was actually, uh, yeah, man, he'd be like falling from any damn where. What? Let me tell you. His cartoon. <clears throat> yeah, y'all remember his cartoon? Yeah, his cartoon? Now, I yeah, do remember yeah, the cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do remember that. No, remember man, he used to do some live shit, man, and like had a like oh, a huh. dummy or something on a. I'm you know? gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the stunt that I remember the most. Okay, it's a lot of stunts that he did, but the one that comes to mind for me is when he was playing a piano. <laughs> I just got a piano. Today. He was he was playing a <laughs> piano. It was a it was a it wasn't like a little keyboard. It was a real big piano. Big grand piano. Huh? Grand yep. piano. Yeah. Okay. But he was playing it like on top of an RV. Yeah. <laughs> The RV was running, right? The RV was rolling down the street. And he was on top of the RV playing his piano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they would come, they would like come under a, a low line bridge. <laughs> he used to do that shit live, man. Live. And what would he do? Like play the piano while he's, he's going playing, under the bridge? He's playing the piano. The RV is driving uh, up under the little, you know, the, the RV is going under the tunnel. Yeah. And all of a sudden, man. The, the height of the tunnel is too low. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, only the RV could oh. get through, but the piano, they hit. <laughs> like, they didn't think that out. <laughs> yeah, he's on top of the RV with the piano, and it was it was too high. So, so the RV would go up under the, uh, up under the tunnel, but the uh, the piano and, and Super, Super Dave, Dave <laughs> is yeah. crushed like a mug. It's crushed. Right. <laughs> and it's hilarious. Mm. It's just probably something you got to see, man. man. I had just thought about that, you know. You got to see it, man. Yeah, you got to see it, man. Y'all got to wow. Google. You know, we, the, the, ain't nobody care about no piano playing on the RV. It was hilarious, dude. It was hilarious, <laughs> man. man. You just got to see he, it, he just man. Gotta, when he was playing yeah. a piano, and you know he... And he was the only one doing that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. You know, it wasn't no other <clears throat> Super Dave. Like, that was his competition. It was just Super Dave, you know, doing the craziness. Of course, it was a, all of us, you know, it was like a dummy. Right. Yeah. When, when the uh, piano got crushed under the bridge, <laughs> but it looked like the it body was, like gets towed up. Yeah, the, the body, body of the dummy, the it body gets pinned and, and yeah. mangled and everything, and it's like you know that's not Super Dave, but man. It's, it's hilarious, man. Super Dave, damn Osborne. Oh, it was another. <laughs> it was another one when he was doing the. Uh, okay, you know the medieval time shock put. Well, like they put you. <laughs> can you pull up some old Super Dave clips? <laughs> In the medieval times, right? We will, we will. Yeah. In the medieval times, they put you in like the little shot put where yeah. somebody cut the rope and the shot put is supposed Slings to like way over sling, yeah. Yeah, it's a sling yeah, yeah. It's slings over. Catapult. Like a, a catapult. Yeah, yeah. catapult. There you catapult. go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Catapult. The catapult actually catapulted him straight into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't he didn't fling out of the barrel like how he's no. supposed to. No. He stayed in it and got his yeah, I remember that one. Mm-hmm. You remember that? One? Yeah, I remember all of them, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I used to watch the hell out of Super Day. Actually, I was doing. Hey guys, mm-hmm. I was doing a little quick research for. There was a show. He was on called Bizarre. It was yeah. a Canadian okay. TV Bizarre. show. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Bizarre. Sorry for clarification. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll like get back it. to the show. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> we, no, we like that nah, kind of stuff, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. It's all was. It was bizarre. It sure we were was. misinformed the public like a son of a gun. <laughs> when we was just kids. That's all we knew him as a Super Dave Osborne. He was actually a raunchy comedian. <laughs> Cause I, I saw him like on David Letterman, or it yeah. was um, doing stand up. You seen him doing stand up? Wow. And he was, it was, it was graphic, man. It oh was, man. It was like R rated. It was X rated. Wow. Oh, okay. Borderline Red Fox, huh? Borderline Red. No, it was Red, Red Fox. It was Red Fox. <laughs> But when he did the little stunts for the kids, man, oh, yeah. man. All the, right, well, you know, okay. The, the catapult joint, the, the catapult joint, 
and uh the piano deal man when he was on top of the rv man playing the they're playing the piano <clears throat> they went up they went under that bridge man <laughs> pew man i can't believe you don't remember super dave man, man. Yes, no, i remember the cartoon but no i don't remember all that other that stuff. original <clears throat> shit boy 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 but what you got for us that jd Oh. That's Super Dave, where, where? man. That was it. But you guys oh, want to see a Super Dave video? Yeah. Let's see what he got. We got one Super Dave clip. Y'all look at this, man. This no is way. what we're trying to tell y'all. Uh, it's very difficult for me to say this, but there is no way that I, I can do this stunt right today. Right <clears throat> well, I can understand why, and uh, I just wonder if you are contemplating it this stunt some other time. Mike, uh, let me say this. Uh, it took me two weeks uh, uh, thinking about this, uh, trying for the right wind velocity to come up here once i'm up here and i look down if you don't jump you don't come back that's all i can say well there's no need to apologize super dave so well mike i have a lot of people that uh, depend on me i have uh, my assistants i have networks that cover me you're paid to come here today and also i have a lot of fans and uh, super dave as you know has never quit from any stunt that's true but you're covering this live and I'm sure that's the way you would hope it to, to be. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is just wish you the best luck in your next stunt, wherever it might be or whenever. Well, thank you, Mike. I hope to see you uh, in the Grand Canyon in a couple of months, and uh, I'll do one. It'll knock your head off. Oh, that'll be great. Okay, Super Dave. Well, this is Mike Walden returning you to our announcer down below. I, can't I think that's believe the it up smartest here. thing you ever did. Yeah, I would have been splattered oh, all over the side of the Of course you would. Yeah. That's good. Well, listen. Um, I guess we're off now, okay? okay yeah. uh, I'm not gonna jump! I think they know that. Listen, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna take the elevator down. I'll see I you down there. I won't need it! Okay? See you later. Holy <laughs> Oh, uh, no way. Uh, and it's very difficult for me to say this, but there is no way. <coughs> oh, Lordy. Come on. Yo, man. <laughs> oh, that's somebody's funny. messing my stuff here, man. I Jeez. told you, man. That's no. Super Dave, boy. My bad, man. My bad. That's I told what we're talking about, That's what we was man. talking about, dog. Woo! <laughs> Damn. Damn that. We gonna have a That's super classic right there for y'all that don't know. For just like we talk about Michael Jordan. Every other damn show, we go, we gonna bring up Super Dave Osborne <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little more often because, damn it, that's what we talking about right there for the, for the youngsters, man, that don't know Super Dave. God dog Cody. Do y'all think that was really his body falling? Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was his body. That was his body right there. Right. Yo, we, yo, yo, Marvino, we, yo. you got some uh, to G or not to G? What you got for us? to g and not to g here we go all right to very g. controversial uh -oh. yeah controversial man they've been <clears throat> talking about this on the radio uh oh that has been going on to g or not to g that's a segment we do where it's kind of like a man law violation right should a grown man be doing this stuff or a grown woman or a grown woman we've had women to g and not to g mm -hmm. that's right uh-huh all right well this one right here man i'm disappointed in this one uh oh uh -oh. yeah this one right <laughs> here is about my boy will smith oh, oh. oh. Man, did y'all hear that? Uh, that you know, Jada was mad at him mm -hmm. because him and Dwayne Martin was kicking it too strong. Dwayne Martin, yeah, who Tisha Campbell. You know who Dwayne Martin is? The old boy that was in the Bud Rim, and oh, yeah, he yeah, married yeah. to uh, Tisha Campbell. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. So they kicking it too strong. What, too what's, strong. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, huh? Well, she was saying that, <laughs> he said, "Yeah, what's wrong with that, huh? So How she, much time you got, buddy?" Right. So, I mean, these, yeah. are, these, are, these are these are forty year old men. I mean, yeah, right, exactly. Okay, these are grown ass men. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. So there's no way you got bad ass Jada Pinkett. You man, know, what I'm saying? hold on, man, hold but on. They she should be getting mad because right? you kicking it. Let me because of stuff like that. Let me interject. Like you said, for every fine chick out there, there's some dude tired of fucking. Uh -oh. Hey, 
So uh, you never think know. That's what it is, people. Jada could be one of those wives that just thinking like you kick it two times a day, uh, two times a week. That's too strong. So what is the definition of kicking it too strong? Okay, well, let's say this, Pew. Uh, well, they went on a trip, him and Dwayne Martin together. They've been going on trips, not just uh, a trip. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Like uh-oh. to, like, the beach and stuff. Uh-oh. Yeah. So that's yeah. the G, uh, to okay. not the G question I got. Is it to G or not to G for two grown dudes to go on a trip together? Man. Well, this is, well, this is what I got to say, man. Mm, mm, mm. I heard that Will was, like, going through a divorce, right? It don't matter what he going through. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about is it to G or not to G for two grown men to be going on trip on a on a not a a, probably a regular basis. Will Smith, (laughs) Will Smith has always been known to be a little flirtatious with the with the ladies. You know what I'm saying? And with the men. What? (laughs) What? 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 Y'all ain't heard that, boy. No, I ain't heard that. Look it up. <laughs> Later. Come on, Q now, man. Okay. Now, my boy Will. Despite, despite what that boy P was talking about. I okay. am legend. <laughs> he he, he, he damn sure he is a legend. Oh, yeah. Man. Somebody <laughs> called up on the radio, some lady, and was like, yeah, he been gay since Fresh Prince days. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, no. The man, Fresh Prince on. days. He was a player in the Fresh Prince yeah, days. Yeah, he was. He was a character oh, Lord. on Fresh Prince. Well, this is my whole thing. Well, well, okay. Besides the gay stuff and the, you know homosexuals, please uh, forgive me or whatever. But I just thought Will Smith was always a guy that was about the women, you know. And he got married, you know. And all of a sudden, the marriage—I guess the marriage kind of was on rocks a little bit. Jada decided, or, or he decided, or they both decided see, simultaneously no. that that they were gonna. You know, discontinue the marriage. So I, I, I feel like since he's discontinuing the marriage, that he's going to go ahead and start start being a player again like he was. But I think they still together, though, right now, man. Yeah, they, are. they ain't broke up and moved separate houses and all that. Because, you but, know, they, they okay, did have an open relationship. Okay, okay. Yeah. This, this is how I'm thinking. Besides the homosexual stuff, this is how I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. If Will is kicking it with his so-called best friend, I'm thinking that those two guys together are just doing nothing but going off and getting women. So you yep. say, what, mm-hmm. what do y'all think? I mean, I'd have been on road trips with my partners before. You know, we go to Austin or Houston or whatever. That's what we do. We're going to see different women. I understand yeah. that. But okay. it's only like once. You know, like once a month. Okay, well, you know, like you're not right, rich once, though. You're not rich though. Once a month. Once a month. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, so once a month and you're not rich. Do y'all get the same room and like nah. how to split beds? Y'all get what? The same room. Same room. Get the same room. Nah. nah. I'm asking Pew. No, no, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> hell no. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to get. So they was getting the same room. Man, that's what they said, man. Ah. With the split beds, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't. I don't know. I've had partners do that before. They'll give one room. Two (laughs) separate. See what I'm saying? No, for real. (laughs) Because, you know, you bring some ladies back. You know, y'all can switch it up. Oh, man. Put a towel on the door. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) See, you know what I'm saying? He got partners, you know? (laughs) Oh, man, please. (laughs) So is it to G or not to G? That's what I'm asking you. Woo! That's controversial, <laughs> man, because you made it sound like he was going on some homosexual exploits. I told you before it was controversial. <laughs> it, man, it really is because it just depends on how you look at it, man. Man, yeah. man, no. So sleeping bags it. No, so sleeping bags. Depending on how you look at it for real. Me yeah. and sleeping bags. Okay, so sleeping bag. If JD t- asked you, hey, sleeping bag, man, I got two tickets. You know what I'm saying? We're going to Brazil. Kick it. Oh, my oh, hell yeah. We you going to Brazil. For me and, <laughs> but we got to share the same room with two beds. You, know, you for going? Me, for go. me and sleeping you know, bags. Still go. You can still me, go? Because for me. It's, some, it's something different. I mean, it ain't. That, <laughs> it's definitely know, something you know different. <laughs> but, but hey, that, that, but see, but for me and sleeping bags, it's different, though, because we can folk. I don't, I, you know, I, I've been knowing this dude. Incestual since. homosexuality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, damn. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, man. Me, yeah. Me, <laughs> me, oh, man. me, me and sleeping bags, we, we go way back to, it, like, we, we was three years old, so. But Will Smith you know, ain't got you know, no, uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know. You know, so, That's his homeboy, you if know you, if, you, if you can folks like me and sleeping bags, it's okay, but. Oh, it's okay. But for Will Smith. And Dwayne Martin. 
Okay, okay. They, they are. Uh, no, man. You gotta hurry up. We got to come to the thing. end of the show, player. This is my thing. If they, they are rich enough, this is what I got to say. They are rich oh, enough. Oh, so it's about money. It's oh, about most money. definitely. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Everything they, is. They are rich enough to have their separate rooms. Yeah. If they oh, were, if, okay. now, if they were, if they were cousins, if they were related, then they can have their own. They, they can have their own room. <clears> period. If, but if they just friends, man, they've been friends for a long time, you got to have your own separate rooms. So how many trips a year is okay? Like two trips a year with your homeboy? I say no more than two. Shit. No more than one. Was one. He said his homeboy is going one once trip. a month. Yeah. Damn. One trip a year. You ain't never had no road trip. Maybe every fellas, other year. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I do two, all the time. I ain't going to lie. We go to different towns like Austin, you know, where the girl's a little bit easier. But you got to understand. You got to understand. <laughs> you like the college though. girls, huh? Oh yeah, those you two. gotta understand though, <laughs> man. The, the homosexuality thing, me, the homosexuality meter has risen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like no matter what you do, like back in the day, like, ten years ago, it would have been okay. But nowadays, it's like okay, damn, is he gay or is he not? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yep. Ten years ago, he wouldn't have been gay. All right. Like like nowadays, you, you know what I'm saying? Ten, you years, gay. ten years ago, you wouldn't have seen two grown ass men sleeping in the same room. It just depends. Okay, on okay, okay. So to end this, in this little segment, okay, for uh, Dwayne Martin and Will Smith, or just period for anybody, one of us or whatever, is it to G or not to G to go on a trip a few times a year with your homeboy? Damn, I say it's not to G. Oh, it don't matter, I say, man. I say, I say it's, to, it's to G. Because, yeah, because you want to get away, had a time. You know what I'm saying? Your homeboy might be that dude that you can release your. Property. It's like the yeah, man. Yeah. It's like the man wingman type thing. Head. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, You don't because, know the extent of. And, 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 that's and, and, like that's like with women. They do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? But man, hey, that's some woman that's, shit. That's but, what I'm talking about. See, that's what I'm talking about. But why that can't be a man thing too to go get away? But another. But well, another thing. Yeah, brings up an interesting yeah, point. Real. Yeah, he's right. Hold on, hold on. Like this guy. We need a vacation just like they need a vacation. Now hold on. You gonna have to meet me out there, player. No, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I can beat you out there. Exactly. No, exactly. Man. exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Money makes a big difference. Yeah. Money makes a big difference. Right. Because if you rich, if you rich, that means you automatically getting the curls. If you not rich, you gotta work. You gotta put your game in. If you rich, but hold you don't on, have hold on, game. hold on. Hold on. If you rich, you don't need no game. The That's women right. are already there. Right. All right. Now, and I ain't talking about. And I ain't talking about for business. You know, business yeah. is something else. But I'm gonna give you I'm this talking point about of view. for like fun and pleasure. Right, I'm gonna give you this point of view. You rich, so when you rich, you are gonna go back to that boyish mode that you were in because you ain't got no worries or responsibilities. Exactly. So guess what? Say man, let's go get on these hoes. Exactly. Just like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Hey, yeah, for real. All right. So what's the what's the word, JD? Woo! I'll say it's the G, man. Right, if I was rich, if I was rich, hey, but you ain't my partners, rich. We, because I'm, it ain't got no. It really because you, it got everything to do with money. Believe that. Because they are rich and they have money, I'm going to go ahead and say it is to G. Because they all about the women. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, they but he getting it. into it with his old lady behind this shit, man. Is that's what that's what it's supposed to be? <laughs> For yeah. real, she ain't that's supposed to like it. To, exactly. <laughs> right. If you if you homosexual that's, that's if you goes on, if you are on in a, in a regular marriage these days anyway. for real. exactly <laughs> if you are a legitimate homosexual your woman ain't gonna have no problem with it because she already know what you into but you know what I'm saying <laughs> but yeah. if, if you if you are if you a legitimate straight dude Plan. hell yeah your wife gonna have a problem because she know. That it's gonna be a slew it of women no in and out of your damn bed. It ain't no different. It ain't no different than if you going over your homeboy house every day just to chill. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Cause she gonna get mad. Why you going over there? Y'all yeah. probably ain't doing no playing games. Exactly. You can be playing video. How many times you go up your homeboy house? Y'all ain't doing no playing video game. And then your woman be like, "Damn, why the hell you over there?" All of this? <laughs> 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 real, real. Cause, You're right. I, Cause I'm mad as hell. Cause I lost it. This nigga last time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that's all it is, man. Already. Well, that's what we need to hear then. That's what we need to hear. That's what I want. Yeah. So we that's gotta all. clear it up. Right. We gotta oh, clear it up. Clear it up. That's yeah. wrong. Yo, thank y'all for listening. Dark side oh, elite T Nail. All y'all boys <laughs> out there, man. T Nail. T Nail out there, man. Hey. All our boys out there listening, Dark Side Elite. Y'all hit us up. Y'all keep listening. We love y'all to death, man. Dark Side Sports, Sports Radio. Radio.
the power of the dark 